Hello, Franklin families. It's Miss Farrar, the Library Media Specialist. And this week's Franklin Friday Read Aloud is Leaders Like Us, Shirley Chisholm. Running for President. Have you ever wanted to change the rules to make things fair? Have you ever dreamed of being someone who makes the laws? What about being president? Shirley Chisholm had those dreams. She was a leader in government. She was also a leader in staying true to what you know is right. In the winter of 1972, people cheered when Shirley walked onto a stage. She announced that she wanted to be president of the United States. First, she would try to get her political party to vote for her as their choice for president. She wanted people to trust her to do the right thing. She was the first woman from the Democratic Party to try to be president. She was the first black candidate for president from any major party. She was ready to make a lot of changes. Shirley was already a congressperson from the state of New York. Shirley was black and proud, but she was just as proud to be a woman. She worked to make things fair for all kinds of people. Unlike some candidates, Shirley had not been given lots of money. Powerful people had not decided to help her. Shirley fought alone. Her plan was to bring the United States or us together. Fighting Shirley. Shirley was born in Brooklyn, New York. She moved with her three younger sisters to the country of Barbados when she was five years old. Her new school had many rules. It taught Shirley how to work hard. By the time she moved back to the United States when she was 10, she already knew that she was a strong person. Shirley wanted to keep learning. She went to college and studied education. She worked in a school while she was a student. Once she finished college, she kept working in education. That was where she got interested in politics. How could she make education better for children? How could she help families? She decided to work for the government. She could make changes happen there. In 1965, she won an election. She became a lawmaker for the state of New York. In just a couple of years, she made important steps toward her goal of improving people's lives. Making things fair. Shirley started working right away in the New York state government. She was against a test that required people to use English to show that they could read. She thought that it was unfair to people who learned another language first. Shirley decided to run for Congress. In 1968, she became the first black United States congressperson. Now she would help make laws for the entire country. Shirley went to Washington, D.C. She would not allow anyone there to overlook her or tell her what to do. The first job she was offered was to be part of a group that helped make laws about farming. Shirley was upset. She wanted to improve education, not talk about farms. Shirley politely refused the job. She got the nickname Fighting Shirley because she was ready to fight to help people. Shirley worked in Congress for seven terms. Because of her, it became against the law to pay maids, drivers, and nannies less than a certain amount. She helped start a program that gave food to women, babies, and children. This helped make sure that families could afford food even if they did not make a lot of money. Shirley's hard work was making a difference in Congress. She wanted to help even more people. 
she decided to run for President of the United States. A powerful office. In the 1960s and 1970s, women were not usually hired in politics. Shirley hired all women to work in her office. Half of her employees were black women. Some people did not like what Shirley was doing or who she was. She got threats from people. She was treated unfairly. People tried to stop her from being on television. But fighting Shirley was not going to give up. She gave speeches, looked for solutions, and kept fighting. Shirley worked hard in her fight to become president. Her slogan said a lot about her. It was on buttons and posters. Vote Chisholm, 1972. Unbought and unbossed. No one could make her change her mind by giving her money. No one could tell her what to do. Nothing stopped Shirley from being who she was. In the end, she did not become president. But she changed the country just by being herself. Leaving a Legacy Shirley was a leader in many things. She was the first Black woman in the United States Congress. She was the first Black candidate from a major party to run for President of the United States. And she was the first woman to appear in a presidential debate. Shirley did great things but they were not why she wanted to be remembered. She wanted to be remembered for her strength. She wanted to be known as a woman who fought for change. In 1983, Shirley retired from politics. She died in 2005 at the age of 80. 10 years after she died, she was honored for her work. President Barack Obama gave her the Presidential Medal of Honor. She had shown many people how to be an honest and strong leader. One does not learn, nor does one assist in the struggle by standing on the sidelines. Shirley Chisholm. I hope you enjoyed this week's Franklin Friday Read Aloud. See you next week.